Hello and welcome. Welcome back to this series of information security management system videos brought to you by Advanced Innovation Group. Through this video, we shall work at understanding the clause number nine performance evaluation of the ISO 27001 2013 standard. Let's start with reading the standard first. 9.1 Monitoring, Measurement, Analysis, and Evaluation. The organization shall evaluate the information security performance and the effectiveness of the information security management system. The organization shall determine a what needs to be monitored and measured, including information security processes and controls, b the methods of monitoring, measurement, analysis, and evaluation as applicable to ensure valid results. Note the method selected should produce comparable and reproducible results to be considered valid. C, when the monitoring and measuring shall be performed, who shall monitor and measure? E, when the results from monitoring and measurement shall be analyzed and evaluated? And F, who shall analyze and evaluate these results? The organization shall retain appropriate documented information as evidence of the monitoring and measurement results. Clause number 9.1 is about performance evaluation. Clause number 9.1 is one aspect of performance evaluation of the information security management system. Through 9.1, we're talking about monitoring, measurement, analysis, and evaluation. To be able to assess the effectiveness of information security management system and the overall performance of information security, the standard mandates that, that one will need to put together monitoring and measurement of information security processes and controls. And for the same, the organization shall need to determine A, what needs to be monitored and measured, what is going to be the method of monitoring and measurement, when the monitoring and measurement shall be performed, assignment of responsibility for monitoring and measurement, assignment of timeline as to when the results of monitoring and measurement shall be analyzed and evaluated, and assignment of roles and responsibility for analysis and evaluation of the result. And the organization will be required to retain documented information as evidence of the monitoring and measurement results. As part of the ISO 27001 standard, we are required to establish information security objectives to be able to assess the overall performance of information security management system. And such objectives must be established at different levels, functions within the organization. So as a part of your clause number 9.1, the standard mandates that the organization determines what all will need to be monitored and measured and the method that will be used for monitoring, measurement, analysis, and evaluation. As part of the ISO 27001-2013, we are required to create information security objectives at different levels and functions within the organizations. These information security objectives will serve the purpose of being able to showcase the effectiveness of the information security management system and the overall performance of information security. Such objectives should be able to assess information security processes and controls. Once the organization has been able to determine what will be monitored and measured, the method associated with such monitoring, measurement, analysis, and evaluation shall also need to be established. To be able to get desired outcome, the standard furthermore goes on to ask you to establish when and who will be responsible for monitoring and measurement and the timeline when these monitoring and measurement results shall be analyzed and evaluated. Who shall be the responsible people for such analysis and evaluation? And the organization shall be required to retain 
appropriate documented information as evidence of monitoring and measurement results. This is a very important part of the entire ISO 27001. Through this clause, 9, the Information Security Management System standard, ISO 27001, is putting together the evaluation of the information security processes and controls that have been established in order to preserve the information security in the organization. And through this clause 9.1, the standard lays down the basic frame of what is required to be done as part of your monitoring and measurement and the subsequent analysis and evaluation to be able to gauge the performance of information security processes and controls. It is extremely important that once these processes and controls have been built, the top management is appraised regularly about the performance of information security controls that will help the organizational processes decide on improvements that are necessary and fill any gaps in the information security system. Clause number 9.1 has a mandatory documentation need of the evidence of monitoring and measurement results. I hope this simple video is useful for you to understand the clause number 9.1 from the ISO 27001 standard. I hope this video is useful. Thank you.